In Stratford, New Hampshire, Officer Glenn Lucas prepares to patrol his region's thousands of miles of trails on dirt bike. Oh. 10-3 to 15 on wash. We took a report of a moose that possibly has a ringworm. We've been walking in circles for the last 10 hours today. It's going to be on a Brown Road in Stratford. 10 five, thank you. Well, I guess I'm going to go take a look at a moose. And... <laughs> never a dull moment. So a brainworm is a parasite that gets into a moose in its brain. It actually starts eating away at the brain. It's, it's rather disgusting and, and gross, but uh, the moose starts to s severely and quickly deteriorate, and it's common for it to walk in circles in a you know, very lethargic, poor-looking manner. Brainworm is a parasite native to North America that is primarily transmitted through the white-tailed deer. Although it usually does not affect the species, it is often fatal when spread to other animals, including moose, goats, and other deer. In New Hampshire, it is an increasing problem caused by longer summers and the growing population of white-tailed deer. I mean, I'm kind of hopeful that I don't have to put the moose down at all. Um, you know, if I get there and it, it looks good and it's healthy, then, you know, I can push it back into the woods. But, you know, if it is brain worm, you know, sadly, I may have to put it down. You know, a big moose with brain worm, it doesn't quite understand the dangers of people, so we can't really, you know, identify what it's going to do next. It just doesn't act quite like a moose. When a moose has got brain worm, it's got a certain look. You know, it, it, the eyes are usually just really big. It'll stumble, it'll walk into things. It doesn't act normal at all. It's just so out of whack. You just, anybody could look at me like, yeah, there's something really wrong with that moose. There's the moose. My god, that looks really, really bad. Did you see it earlier in the day, too? I saw it this morning. You did? It's been here the whole time? It must have been. Yeah, it's about 8 o'clock this morning, I saw it. I got a moose not doing well at all. It's, it's just instantly looks bad. So the goal right now is to watch this moose and confirm this got brain worm. When a moose has brain worm, it kind of walks circles. It's got his head down. It's kind of got that blank, dead stare to it. Oh, well, there you go. There's the circles right there. I mean, it has moved a little bit. I was kind of hoping it wasn't that bad, but... See this total circles? I mean, that's obviously not a normal thing. I just want to make... I want to feel comfortable that, you know, that I'm putting the right moose down and... If this is the one it's been doing this for hours. He said all day. Yeah. So I feel very comfortable that, you know, this one needs to be put down and it's just it's literally suffering right now. So yeah, oh yeah. There's no doubt in my mind it sadly has to be put down. There's there's no other options. It's just gonna suffer. If we can stay this side and then we can at least move around the vehicle if it charges us. So cool. I'm going to grab my shotgun. Um, you know, I'll load it with a few rounds and put it down and put it down quick. Come on. Stop moving around. actually see how much it's been hanging out. Look at the circles. You can see that it's just been crop circles here. Relatively quick death. So there's some scenarios in fish and game that we respond to that the best case is actually sadly to put it down. Sometimes they have an injury that it just isn't survivable. It's just going to suffer and, and be a horrible death. Whereas if I put it down now, it'll be the end of it and it'll be a lot better for the moose. Mm -hmm. Thank you very, very much. No problem. Doing what needs to be done. Yep, no, no problem. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yep, sorry we had to meet in these circumstances, but this actually worked out, you know, pretty well. It was a great educational, um, you know, opportunity. The kids ask questions. It's nothing that's enjoyable. It's not like it's a great hunt. You know, this is something that, that needs to be done. It, it's kind of solemn because it, it's a beautiful animal, um, but right now it's just, it's, it's never going to continue to be that, that nice animal, and there's just no choice.